G'day, I'm Jason Smith, Managing Director of Cashfly Advantage. Today I'm here with Terry Mullen from Sustainable Turnarounds. We're going to have a bit of a chat about um, what Terry does, how he helps small businesses, and uh, some of the key things that you really should do as a small business owner in Australia. Terry, thanks for, thanks for coming in. I appreciate that. Okay, Jason. Terry, do you want to start off by giving us um, a, a brief rundown on your background? Okay, yes, I was Managing Director of Coppers, member of Coppers Logs. Yes. Retaining wars for years. It was made with treated all the telegraph poles around Australia and mm -hmm. railway sleepers. Um, it was a it turned in its own half by BHP. Right, and, yeah. yeah, so it's quite a quite a big show. Um, I took the business globally and in the end it was the, it was the biggest preservation company in the world. Right, okay. Uh, I ran that for twenty five years. Right, Before okay. that I was a senior consultant with Cooper Lightbrand, I was in the UK and uh, worked there for a number of large to medium companies. Okay. The last 15 years I've been running sustainable turnarounds. I'm a director there. Okay. Uh, I am the director. All right. and, yeah. uh, and then we've been dealing mainly medium and small companies. Okay, so um, you've had 25 years business experience. So you yes. really know where, or 25 years with coppers and then. Well, I was 10 years I was doing chartered accounts. Yeah, and yeah. So yeah. before then. Yeah. And then the last 15 years I've dealt with hundreds of companies. Right, doing this sort of work that I'm doing now. That's the table turnaround. So, so tell me, so tell me about sustainable turnarounds. What, what do you, what do you guys do? We really specialise in the heavy duty end of, of the turnaround business. The ones that really everybody else finds too hard. Okay. The companies that have run into strife with their marketing and the financial side. Right. Uh, so that's fifty percent of our business. Okay. The, other, the other half is just taking businesses to the next level. Right. So of course, a lot of the companies we dealt with to start with, we've grown big yeah. and they get us back in again, take okay. it to the next level, which is probably more the more the enjoyable part. Yeah. So so really fifty percent of your time is spent dealing with businesses who have gotten themselves in their trouble. Sometimes pretty pretty big financial pretty, trouble. Yes, yeah, that's right. Right. And the other fifty percent is is working with businesses that are just as as a as a business consultant taking them to the next level. The next level. level. And that's cool. I'm a, I'm very strong in strategy, I'm very okay. strong in marketing. Yep. Probably more so, I'm a, I'm a qualified accountant. Okay. Um, yeah. So I've got a CPA and also I, was, I did have an MBA in marketing and strategy. Okay. So great. I specialise more in that marketing strategy side because I see that as being where okay. companies often run the business so into trouble. So, Terry, do, do, um, do all businesses fit into the, the, the turnaround model? Uh, well, they do. People would say that we specialise in any particular area. Mm -hmm. No. Um, we don't do much farming or hanging with four legs, as I say, or swims or, uh, right. or uh, flies doesn't really fit into it. But right. um, uh, we, 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 we deal with we deal with a lot of manufacturing type companies, okay. obviously fairly big in our portfolio. Yeah. But we deal with accountants, lawyers, all sorts yeah. of all sorts of businesses because there is a sort of usually a common thread through yeah. all, all businesses. Well, let's let's let, let's talk about that now. So, what are what are the main causes of businesses getting themselves into trouble? The, big, the biggest cause is is there's, there's three things that normally cause a business to go. Yeah. We find is that the, the chief executive, to be honest with you, I know it's really? a bad one to talk to talk about. Is the one that's is autocratic. Okay. And he's he's lost control of the finances, or doesn't listen to his financial so it's the, information. It's the, it's it's a leadership style of the, of, yeah, uh, of the director. Uh, yes, yeah, I'd say 90% of it is. Mm -hmm. Often I get along with a lot of these guys because they're pretty tough guys and I don't mind them. Mm -hmm. I, I, I get along with them. They're, they're the, so the best, that's, no, that's number one. Yeah. So the financial control is usually lost mm -hmm. and their markets change on them without them knowing it. Mm -hmm. uh, the second thing is um, uh, they start to over trade. So that means making sales without profits. Really? Okay. Uh, so that's, that's, it's, you know, when they get when they when they get tough, they drop their margins, right. then start yeah. running into strife right there. Yeah. And then the third one is what they call the big deal. Right. So in other words, they look for a growth, and so they take something on that's outside their normal spectrum. Mm. And um, so yeah, they moved they, outside their core business. Core business, and then the, you know, the, they can't support it with the current staff. Then the, then the, the business then starts to more money, needs a lot of financial investment. Right. Uh, and then that, that drains the main core business. So, okay. so they're, the, they're the three main causes. Okay. So what, what do you, what, what's, the, what's the first symptom? What's the first symptom of a business running bad? Um, well, first of all, it's usually that financial 
So it starts to. So the ATA, the ATA is not getting paid. The ATA is not getting paid, and the, then the super doesn't get paid. Oh, yeah. So they, they're the things, and they're, they're, they're the main two main things. But you know, those two, they, 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 yeah. they form the unsecured creditors line. So yeah. they tend to, that's an easy one, yeah. which um, it's getting a bit harder to go down that route these days, but that's, mm -hmm. that's normally the first. So what does sustainable turnarounds do? You come in, what, 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 can you give me a brief overview of the process of you coming in as a consultant and turning around these businesses that have yeah, got well, big problems? Yeah, well, they, often the accountants get us in, they play with often they're the domain, yeah. Yeah, of course, uh, referrers. Uh, we, we talk to the customer to start with to see whether we can help them mm -hmm. um, and whether they want us, whether we're suited to Doing that particular okay. business, and uh, so uh, so that that original con consultation is is free, right? Okay. Um, and then that normally follows usually on the same day. We work through what they call a short-term business plan, right? Okay. Uh, which goes through we work through where where the owner wants to go, mm -hmm. where he really wants to go, because a lot so of consult yeah, a lot of consultants. You know, they, they, they can do the work, but in the end, they finish giving the customer what they don't want. Right, okay. And so we, we try to avoid doing that. So Our cost, cost, yeah, you start with the end in mind. You, yeah. you make sure that the, 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 the director is completely clear on why he's doing this business. Yeah, and whether or not he's really prepared to make the hard decisions. Mm, okay. Uh, whether he's hard to get prepared to make those hard decisions. And whether or not he's got a, he really has got a business that's got great prospects. Mm. And we, so otherwise, you're you know, really working hard. Yeah. If, if, He's got to be committed, and of course, the, the, these are the people that, that have, you know, he's had to run a business, he's grown it himself, put a big effort into it, and then he finds it's in trouble. So, mm -hmm. I mean, for him to decide to keep going is often big. Yeah. But yeah. I've got to say, a lot of them say, well, I, I just want to get out and yeah. sell it. Yeah. But the reality is, with, when we work with them for a few months, yeah. they're all part of it and feeling good, and good again. So that's good. Yeah, that's so good. We, we've got a. We've got a ninety-five percent success rate. Very, it's right? very, very high. Right. Okay. So, so, so go and do more about. So you, you get in there, you do a short-term business plan. What else do you do? Well, once we've done the business plan, we they usually if it's a self-realization thing. We look at their markets. We look at the market segments they're in. The, we look at their customer base that they've got. Mm -hmm. um, so we look. We also look at their values. Whether the, the, the organisations got shared values with the, with the owners of the business. Okay. Um, which you know it's becomes quite interesting sometimes. Of course, <laughs> people and markets are the two things that are important, and those two are often missing. The yeah. customers. Okay. But so so um, and then we do the strength and weakness. Strength and weakness is threats and opportunities. Okay. We, we I do a short term budget. With them, right? Well, I just work out which way they are going financially. Yeah, because you're 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 a big believer in the, in the importance of of um, cash flow forecasting, aren't you? Yeah, we're very big. So in other words, I, and I really try and even though I focus on that marketing and, and sales, people don't often pick me as an accountant, right. but they seem to find out the hard way that I really am. Yeah. And yeah. and um, I get a good idea where they're going for as far as their market and profits going, and I usually get that pretty right. Right, okay. I don't, don't make a lot of mistakes in that area. Yeah. In fact, I don't try and make a lot of mistakes anywhere because yeah. you know I am dealing with people's lives, yeah. uh, and okay. I, and we take it pretty seriously. Yeah. And look, you, you know, so you, you go in there, you give them some focus, you give them some direction, and you give them the steps of, of, of what's going to get their business out. Yeah. Of well, yeah. We well, the time we've finished, the, and it's only like a day, a day and a half process. Mm -hmm. uh, by the time we've gone through their markets and it's what's do a current reality check. Yep. I mean, I would like, it's great to have the great dream, mm. but wait a minute, where are we right now? Mm. And then so out of all that, we do a bit of analysis, a bit of a weighing up, giving, you know, on a, on a one to ten basis or right. whatever they want to work on. Yeah. Um, then we come up with clear goals, right. action plans and dates and responsibilities. And, and then there's a follow up, um, but, cool. but, but it does give them that framework to work within. And once that, they, 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 invariably they feel pretty good about it. They, they usually say, well, we walk from one of one, we need, you need you to come in. Yeah. But the rarely, when they finish that, they say, well, look, we knew all that, but we, did, we didn't, we, we knew all the stuff we've done. And they, and they do. They, speak, they know their business better than I do. Yeah. And, and just, I, I, I accept that. It's just doing something about it. Yes, it is. And, I, and I, that little box, I'm, I'm a specialist in that area. Mm -hmm. And that's why we've got such a good success rate. So, Terry, just before we finish, um, how are you seeing 
the, the economic climate in Australia out there at the moment? How are you? Because it's, it's probably important to remind any, anybody watching that right. that out of the two million, two point one million businesses mm -hmm. in, in Australia, two million of them are mm -hmm. small businesses. Mm -hmm. And, and so we're, you, you know, not actually 96 percent, I think, is the figure. So you're dealing with small businesses. You're often dealing with people with less than 20 staff. Is that right? Right. Yes. Yeah, right. So what are you finding out there when you go and see? You, you're seeing all parts of you know yeah. small businesses in Australia. What, what do you think's happening out there? Yeah. Well, well we, our, our businesses are normally you know, one and a half to two million, to ten million dollars. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's the scope of the businesses we deal with. Um, most of the businesses, I'd have to say, right at the moment, are finding the cost of labour very hard to deal with. Really. Yeah. Um, and that's and it's come on them pretty quick. Right. Um, the global financial crisis, all of them suffered pretty badly out of that. Yeah. The ones that are still here are probably a bit. We, there's been a bit lot of shaking out. Yeah. But the ones that are still here, I mean, the labour cost still is high. Yeah. And that, so they're having having a lot of trouble dealing with that and and. and I mean, you know, then pay all the taxes as well. That's right. They're competing with overseas countries that have got much lower cost structures. Yeah. So we we find ourselves pretty busy. Yeah. Okay. Terry, thanks for your time. Now, if if um you do have a website, don't you? Yes, we do. Sustainable turnarounds with an S. Yep. Dot com dot au. You can right. find us all there. So. Okay. We're just happy to follow anything for about right. you. Good on you, Terry. Thanks for your time. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks.